And Aya Stark realized that there is this woman who is physically challenged, who came to her cancer to enjoy her music. Everybody was upstanding. People were on their feet. People were, were on the roof and all that. People were jamming to her songs. But there is this woman that sat in a wheelchair. <laughs> DJ Paco Rich. Hello, my people. Welcome to the channel. My name is DJ Paco Rich, aka Otumba, aka Siriki, 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 Siriki. Yes, also popularly known as Mazi or Otumba. Yes, so um, <clears throat> welcome to this beautiful channel. Today, I'm going to speak about this wonderful, beautiful lady. Her name, original name that she was born, Bisera. Yeah. Uh, she was born in Benin, Kutonu, and then she grew up in Nigeria. So let's say that beautiful Nigerian song stress we call Ayasta. She's the one that I'm going to speak about, yes. So sometimes when people do things that's on the blind side of people, they don't recognize it and you see it. It is just nice for you to bring it out talk to people about it, brings people attention about it, so that other people will be inspired to do such things. Because you see, in this life, the most beautiful thing is showing love to people who have some form of disability or challenge in life. They really appreciate that and it brings a lot of blessings to you, yes. That's why sometimes you find out that during festive seasons or even on ordinary time, some people step out on the street and give to the less privileged or they go to orphanage homes and they donate and all that. It comes with a lot of blessing. And anybody that is able to do that stands the chance of being a great person, whether you like it or not. And so let me show you the beautiful Aya Stars image in case you haven't seen her before. Very beautiful girl. I mean, one would have thought that after Tiwa Savage, it would be very difficult for us to see a well-talented female with that sweet voice from the camp of Don Jaze. But see, Ayasta is just everything that everybody would want to have. Yes, she's a full package. And so, you ask me that why am I praising Ayasta or saying so much good things about Ayasta? Yes, she did something that really touched my heart, and not only me, but the people of Germany. You would all agree with me that Germany isn't an English-speaking country. Germany, they speak the Madach or whatever they call. So for you to be in Germany and you go hear say, they, they sing your song line by line. Yes, if it's in American, it's fine. If it's in New York, if it's in New Jersey, if it's in Atlanta, if it's in London, if it's in Canada, yes, it's fine. If it's in Ghana and all that, yes, brilliant, it's beautiful and all that. But you see, I'm always amazed when I see English written songs being accepted in countries like Germany, Holland, uh, India, Spain, and all that. It really pushes me to, you know, love it more. Love the artist that I see that the musician has really, really, really worked hard. Yes. And so I would like to applaud Aya Star. And I'm going to actually show you a video of her performing in Germany. And what that she did that brought the attention of the whole world to Aya Star. Yeah. People haven't really paid that. They've seen the video. People were jamming to her songs and all that. But there is that particular thing that she did. And in the comment section of where I got this video from, certain people noticed that and that was where their commentary went to. Let me show you this video from Aya Star performing in Germany. Yes, so because of copyright reasons, I might not be able to bring you the sound in full. I might push it out, then bring it down to avoid copyrights 
and you know clips and all that. Yes, this is them singing the song. But look at Aya Star very well. Look at Aya Star. She was singing to the audience with the aid of the security and all that. All these people were standing on their feet, but it got to a point. It got to a point, and I want the video to get there before I even speak about it, so you can see. She was jamming to the people upstairs, and then Aya Star realized that there is this woman who is physically challenged, who came to her cancer to enjoy her music. Everybody was upstanding. People were on their feet. People were, were on the roof and all that. People were jamming to her songs. But there is this woman that sat in a wheelchair. It was very heart touching. When the beautiful goddess of music, Afrobeat, I call her the goddess of Afrobeat, she went down on her knees and she performed, she came to her level. She performed and looked into the eyes of this beautiful woman. This is what we call stagecraft. She knows her act. She has been taught to wow people. And tell me, give me a reason where this particular woman wouldn't buy a ticket to go and watch Aya Star when she's doing any concert. She would definitely do. Because the affection, the love, just look at it. Just look at it. She spent a lot of time on her than the times that she spent on the other people. And this is what I'm talking about. Oh my God, she held her hands, she spent time, she sang to her, and people loved it. People picked up their phones, they were videoing her, and that's how a superstar behaves. As a superstar, you should be loved by people, by your acts on stage, you just don't have to be high on stage that you can't see anything. You'll be jumping, jumping, jumping and screaming all, throwing yourself all over the stage. You should be focused even when you're on stage. Be, you should be able to identify details, things that you can incorporate in your act that will make your whole performance beautiful. And that is exactly what Aya Star did. And people loved her. I'm sure in the auditorium, people even didn't identify that. But after the performance, when this video was shared, when this video was shared, people realized it. And let me, let me once again play this video so that you can actually see what I'm talking about. So she started, she was shaking the Oyibo people. They are Germans, so don't be saying English people. This show was in Hamburg, Germany. Germany. And the beautiful, sexy, seditious lady was giving them performance back to back. The song, Rush, Rush, Rush. And she wasn't even in a rush to perform. She took it easy, gave it to them one by one. Shake the hands, interacted with the audience. So if you're a musician and you are watching this, I'm telling you that you need to learn this stagecraft because this is beautiful. This is beautiful. And that was at the point that she got to the disabled woman when she came down to her level, gave her some inspirational words, told her that everything isn't over. You can equally enjoy like everybody. And this was a beautiful, outstanding performance by Aya Stein. I give it up for her. Aya, Aya. No one that she's been nominated on the Grammys. She truly, 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 truly deserves it. She's worked hard. She's rocked all the big stages in the world that she has to. And now she's on Grammy. Congrats, beautiful lady. Congrats for this particular thing you showed to that beautiful lady. It touched my heart. And so I had to react to it. God bless you. God bless everyone watching this video. Let me know your thoughts, your views about what Aya Star did for the woman. I love you. I'm out of here. My name is Otumba aka Mazi aka DJ Paco Rich and I'm out of here. DJ Paco Rich.